hey guys welcome back to my channel so for this video i wanted to do something a little more like story time slash get ready with me so i'm about to go out so i'm gonna begin to do my face and share story time because i do have a lot of stories within this like area um let's start with my first one so in 2009 um i actually i'm in mexico so i always came here um every year i come with my parents and um we always stay at either my grandma's my mom's side or my dad's side and like they're really like they're next door so it's not like it's a big issue for us we stay there and um every year i would go but like every year i'd get bored i don't i didn't want to be here i didn't see anything to do I didn't like find anybody to talk to and then like I would get happy when my like family members would come because it was a nice time to mingle and get together with my cousins um, and I'm talking mainly about my like younger cousins not my older cousins like my age a year older maybe and that and then like in 2009 me and my sister me and my sister were just like we were fighting like cats and dogs and we finally started getting like you know getting closer so she took me out she saw that i was so bored and she took me out she took me to a couple get and misses which are like um it's like i think they're supposed to be raising money for an event in for the 16th of september which is the independence day of mexico so they were just raising money for that for that day so she would take me out and i would like go with her the issue came up when when like they would be bailes like bailes like um like dance stuff for both these getting messages these funding things and because people were baptizing people were getting married people were having sweet 16s and i wanted to go so i would go with my sister my sister would kind of show me how to dance and that's where i started learning and i, I, I liked it so by the time um like because we always stay a month um, by that time, I already had gotten it. I had already gotten like the moves on how to dance certain things. Um, so that was one thing. The second part of this was that I actually went and there was this cute guy. It was a small cute guy and he was really Build. like i didn't really know i even like that like I'm, i was 12 let's just put this out there i was 12 i did not know i didn't obviously have any idea about boys but this kid was like short but built and he was cute so i did was what any other 12 year old was gonna do and every time i'd see him i'd go on the other side because that's how i knew how to flirt 12 years old so I, I I would run to the other side <laughs> hoping you wouldn't see me and then like eventually like he kind of like I guess he noticed that I had a crush on him and he was like I think five years older than me and five or four one of those two and he actually ended up sending a message through my uncle who's like my sister's age that he liked me and I was like, what? You're lying. Like, I, he likes me. He likes it. I was so, like, hyped up because, like, I really was, I was just so emotional, like, so into these things. So, like, we go to another baile and, like, I see him and, like, this time, if I ran away, I just kind of froze and, like, didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to flirt. So, 12 years old, right? Um, when I leave... I think um, at this like I, we both like I guess you could say I knew he liked me he knew I liked him we left it at that I had to do eyeliner and I can't do eyeliner with talking it's like you have to stop breathing type of thing anyways I um, I came back from this vacation and my cousin was actually doing her sweet 16 sweet 15 sweet 15 she was starting her practices for her sweet 15 and I mean it seemed like everybody was going so I wanted to go too so um 
this one time my sister was gonna take me because it was still summer we had gone in july so this was gonna be june no we had gone in august and this was gonna be in i think our party was gonna be in october but um we needed to go we didn't need to go my sister wanted to go to see how everything was going and like all that so she went and she was supposed to take me she didn't drive i think at this point so my cousin was driving and he was gonna take her and they didn't stop by they didn't wait for me i think or something something along those lines point is i didn't go the first time to her practice third time i went i went and i I met all the guys that were in her court, which were like predominantly my cousins. One or two, I did not know who they, how they were. One catches my eye, and it was kind of like the first crush thing in Mexico. And then like we we go back home, whatever. My sister sends me. I think at this point, AIM was really popular, so they she sends me a message saying, like, oh. For the purposes of this video, we'll call this person Jerry. So Jerry messages my sister and tells her like if he could have my aim. And she she asked me, "From your aim?" I said, "Sure, whatever." I'll be very honest. As a twelve-year-old, I was very hyped that somebody wanted my aim, just like when they asked me for my number. I'm very honest. Now that I'm 21, that's obviously not the case. I kind of don't even, I just give fake numbers now. And I say my name is Martha. Anywho, back to the story. So, Jerry gets my aim and he, message, he messages me the next morning. And he asks me like, hey, like, um, were you that girl that was at the practice the other night? And I said, yes, that was me. And James was more like, Oh, I, you know, I just thought you were really cute and I kind of wanted to get to know you a little more and stuff like that. Obviously, people were telling me, like, no, because he has this issue, he has the other issue. And, like, when you're 12 and you're naive and you think, like, you know it all, you just go with the flow and you don't even care to, like, listen to advice when people are giving you. Like, you don't know. I went a little more and, lo and behold, we ended up dating. And that would be a good story another time I could tell. The other thing I was gonna mention was it kind of funny how yes my sister was the one that presented me in a way connected me with these two people and I think that's what I regret the most when I was 12 was that um that I kind of just let my emotions take over and guide me to anything I was doing versus me trying to focus on other stuff like, I look at this thing now and I'm like, oh. Like, I wasted a lot of time following people that weren't necessary. It was me trying to kind of mature for my age when I knew I was only 12. I couldn't possibly grow up the next day. And I think that's what I tried to do and that's what a lot of people try to do. They try to grow up so quickly and then they don't realize that things are missing out. Now that obviously nine years have passed, I've learned that like I've learned to take those moments obviously I can't take them back as much as I'd love to go back in time and have certain things never happen or have them shorter I can't do that so I just have to take those lessons I have to take them as lessons and that's one of the things I've realized overall I'm done with the look and I'm done with the story I think the overall message I was trying to just to like share was the fact that when you're young, you believe a lot of things and you let your emotions guide you. And you also think that you're old enough to make your own decisions. That was my overall um, story time. I'm glad you guys, hopefully you guys liked it. Hopefully you guys found it interesting. If you guys are from my hometown or from, and when I say hometown, I mean like this pueblo. Then you may know who I'm talking about, you may not. And I'm not going to reveal it because I don't want to disrespect their privacy. If you guys want to see um, more videos, just please comment down below. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to watch, and I'll be more than happy to do them. So, alright, bye! I am a lost boy from Neverland, usually hanging out with Peter Pan.